Yeah. Don't you the juice, man? He's released, my friend. After serving nine years. It's number six. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh boy. This a little is crazy, crazy there. It's got a nice, it's still got a nice, nice nose on it though. Huh. I'm kind of on the same page with you. Oh god. I'm like, ew. Look at the care. That's it. There she goes. Juice is loose. Doesn't taste like it's over 8% alcohol by volume. Oh, I'll tell you that. Alcohol. I don't get like any booze on it. No. You're not sitting. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's just. It's kind of, yeah, it has the carbonation and all the stuff. Like it's flat as all get up. You can look at the blue bubble, but it's, yeah, it's pretty flat. I think I was expecting a little more of that mosaic on the. on the. But this beer's been weird. Unstable. Hydrometer sample, uh -huh. amazing. Like the best, juiciest IPA I've made to date. You know, just super fruity. And then dry hopped it. Day two, tasting awesome. Should have pulled the dry hops out. Yeah. Weekend came around, came back to the office Monday or Tuesday and a bit too far. And yeah. Then, and the dry hops just pulled a ton of like, I don't know if it wasn't necessarily grassy, it was just gross. Yeah. Vegetal? Yeah, very. Yeah. Very. Uh huh. So then we let it sit for a while. It finally came back around, but by the time it came back around, you lost all those mm -hmm. fresh all those, like, the oils and the delicate little, yeah. the good good from the dry hop, those little pieces yeah. that. And that, just that fresh hop. That aroma. That fresh hop. Yeah. So. Kind of missed the window on that, and now it's kind of mellowed out. You definitely don't taste any booze. At no, all. yeah, this is a sneak attack. It's sad to say that this is not the uh, not the IPA you remember. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's not doing it. It's changed. It's, it's changed a lot. It's changed, it's changed yeah. again. I mean, a volatile okay. beer. There's a lot. Of, I mean, those compounds from those hop acids are just like. Kind of inherently unstable. Yeah. When did when did you brew this? Man, a while ago. Yeah. On the notes. Yeah. What was what was fermentation time on this? I think ten days, and then dry out for way too long. Like yeah. Five or six days. Probably fifteen days before we. Ended it, maybe. That dry hopping, man. That's a delicate thing. It's, you can't like spreadsheet a dry hop, right? It's very, it's a very qualitative. I mean, you can, to an extent, I guess. I feel like it's like one of those like practice mix perfect things. I mean, they direct me like August 8th. Okay. Two months-ish from yeah. her day, which is not young. I had high hopes for it and then it just turned weird and you had that. It's still, it's always been drinkable. Yeah. But it's just, was a, it's better. A, it never was, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Before dry hopped it, it was. Yeah. And then dry hopping, I don't know if maybe I got something in there or... Just too long. Too long. Just had that. Yeah. Just that weekend came and mm -hmm. pulled them after the weekend. and Should have pulled them before. Put a sh yeah. Yep. So I mean, it's a good learning experience. And it's like I said, it's not something I brew a lot of. I brewed maybe in my life four IPAs, three IPAs, two. 